You enjoy killing me over and over again, ripping out my heart and taking any pride I have and tossing it aside. You know I'm gay, yet you use gay, homosexual, and faggot in your conversation as an insult. There's so much hate behind that word, yet you don't use other hateful words. The moment one of you said the N-word, everyone freaked out, but faggot's fine. I don't think you get it, that when you say that word, you don't just say that word. You travel in time. You travel back to June 21st, 1977, and stab Robert Hillsborough to death while you're yelling faggot, then hop over to 1982 and drown Charlie Howard because he was flamboyantly gay. Whenever you say that word, you travel to March 9th, 1995, and kill your best friend with a shotgun because he implied he might still have feelings for you. October 7th, 1998, Matthew Shepard, a gay college student, was beaten, left for dead, tied to a fence post in the middle of nowhere. He was found 18 hours after the attack and died five days later. The kids in school are right. I am a freak, a loser, and a fag, and in no way is it acceptable for people to deal with. That was posted online by 17-year-old Carlos Vigil right before he attempted suicide. Don't you get it? It's not just a word, it's a legacy. A legacy of people being torn down and forced to wear shame. A legacy of ignorant people who think their actions are justified. If you use fag as an insult, you might as well use me. The next time your friend says something stupid, just tell him he's a freaking Austin, or ask him, are you Austin? Or my personal favorite, you are being so Austin right now. My name is not an insult. My sexuality is not an insult. My love is not an insult. My being is not an insult. Why do you think you can take who I am and control it? Shape it how you would like. Your words are the hands of potters molding my heart and emotions to your pleasing, but you're so blinded by the attention of others you have forgotten that the thing you're molding is a human being. I am a human being. We are all human beings. Why don't you see that? Why can't you look at my hands and count the ten fingers just as yours. The hair on my head or the sparkle in my eye. Put your hand on my chest and feel my heartbeat. Just like yours. And tell me this. What makes your heart any more beautiful than mine.